Hello and welcome. My name is Steve and I'm the voice of Repair Desk. Today we're going to go on a full-fledged demo of Repair Tickets module. In this demonstration will show you how you can run a wireless store like a fine-tuned machine, as well as how the Repair Desk software stands out from the competition. So without further ado, allow me to begin our tour of this most excellent of programs. Here in the Manage Tickets section, you can see we have this awesome visual representation. So a technician or manager can see what needs to be done without navigating away to another page. The default view displays repair tickets based on due date instead of creation date. It highlights overdue tickets with a red background to the entire row. This is so a manager or technician can easily see tickets that are overdue and where immediate action is required. Once due date has been updated, it automatically refreshes to reflect new data. A customer's primary contact number is displayed beneath their name and links to the SMS module. If you'd like to send a follow-up SMS, simply click on Displayed Number, enter your custom message, or you can select from Canned Responses. You can also reassign an individual task in a repair ticket to a different technician. For instance, if an iPhone 6 screen replacement task was assigned to one of your technicians, let's call him Ken, who's busy at the moment, and the customer needs it fixed in the next 30 minutes, you can assign it to your other technician, let's call him Josh, and he can start work on it straight away. There is also a centralized ticket history section that is accessible from the View Add Comments under the Action menu and shows staff notes, public comments, system messages, and communication log listed chronologically in one place. So a technician or a manager has only to go there to fully understand the full history of the ticket. This will allow technicians or managers to read the ticket history and add internal notes such as, we need to order a battery for this repair. Here is a link to revamp electronics. Or, you can also add notes to the invoice with a timestamp. As discussed, there will be an additional charge of $50 for a battery replacement. So you can manage tickets in accordance with customer expectation. One of your worst nightmares can be getting a call from a customer quoting their ticket number, and you being unable to locate the device, or not being able to quickly understand the ticket history. There is also a trigger under the module configuration screen that allows you to exclude tickets with repair and completed, canceled, or similar status. So the default view only shows pending tickets or similar that require some form of action. If you'd like to create a repair ticket for an iPhone 6 screen repair, hit Create Ticket, which will then open in a new window. If you have just started using Repair Desk and would like to update a ticket ID, simply click on Ticket Number and enter the desired value. To start a repair ticket, you can enter a customer's details or click on Search in case you would like to search from the existing customer database. You can search a customer by name, phone number, or even email address. Now in order to add repair details for an iPhone 6 screen repair, select iPhone 6 and Device Issue. You can also select multiple issues with the customer's device or add new device issue. You can then enter the device IMEI or serial number, set task finish date and time, enter the price, and hit add line item. From the action menu, you can attach and select device pre-repair condition and assign this task to a technician. Public comments are also accessible through the action menu. This allows you to add notes with a timestamp. For example, as discussed, there will be an additional charge of $50 for battery replacement. Now click on Save Ticket to book this repair job. Once a repair job is completed, update ticket status as Repaired, which will send out a beautiful email and SMS to your customer. A technician can also add labor or part against each repair item. To link a part with each repair, select Repair Reference. Choose Catalog Item and click on Add Line Item. 
so Repair Desk can work out profit earned on this repair. Now let's talk about how to process a warranty claim. Under Inventory, you can add a 90 days or one year warranty against all repair parts so that when a customer comes back with a bad part during the warranty period, you can perform a warranty repair and the ticket history is updated accordingly. If you'd like to perform a warranty repair, click on Claim Warranty, which is where you can enter the reason for the replacement under the warranty and update part status, whether it's faulty or broken. Click on Save so Repair Desk software can automatically update inventory level, ticket history, update part status, and record a loss on the repair. You can now click on Add Part to assign a new replacement part for the customer's device so that it's recorded as a loss. You can also view ticket history in a single feed to view when and by whom the ticket was created or anything the customer told us about the ticket or a record of any official communication you sent to the customer about the ticket since its creation. This could be as SMS, email, or even a letter or telephone call and easily filter to find something specific or quickly create a new message and add this to the ticket. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, from all of us here, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please visit our website at www.repairdesk.co or you can email us at support at repairdesk.co.